channel. My name is Jeannie and this is Get This Glowing. And if you have never been to my channel, then welcome to my channel. If you have been here before, welcome back and thank you for spending a part of your day with me. In today's video, I am really excited to do this video for you. We are going to be kicking it old school today with one of my very first beauty loves. We are going to be doing a look with the entire um, look being focused on Bare Minerals. And so if you're excited to see a video dedicated to the Bare Minerals line, then grab you a cup of coffee. This is going to be Get Ready With Me Monday, and let's do it. Okay, so um, I have got the new Floral Utopia collection. You can get this collection on QVC. It runs um, $65. These eye palettes are so hard. That's the only, <laughs> that is the only negative about these eye shadow palettes to me um, is that they are very hard for me to open, but they are a six pan palette. I've been playing in this this week and I just love this. Oh my gosh, I love the colors in this palette. Um, so you get a very deep plum that you can use as um, your outer corner V and on your lower lash line it is just beautiful. I'll swatch that for you. It's really hard to do a really good purple shade, but this one goes on so smooth. It's not patchy. It doesn't skip around. It just blends like butter. Then you get this shade here that is a shimmer, and it is beautiful. And this one is a rose, just a really deep rose shade, and it's gorgeous too. And then you get a more of a lilac shade that's also a shimmer that could be a uh, lid topper just to bring some light and some pop to your eyelid. Then you get this shade that is just gorgeous. It almost has, almost, it's not a duochrome, but it has this little bit of a shift and it's this coral peachy pop to it. So you can totally take this palette in a different direction. And then you have a matte peach that's just absolutely wonderful for a transition shade. Right. It's right over here, so I don't know how good you can see that because it's a real fleshy tone peach, but it's just wonderful. And then the last shade I'll swatch over here on this hand, um, but it's just a very light nude almost a vanilla-ish color, but yet it has a little bit of that peach pull to it. So it's really a nice, nice palette. And you can wear this to work. Jazz it up with this plum shade down here. You can jazz it up with this rose shade. This is just an amazing palette. I've had so much fun with this all week. So it comes with this Gen Nude palette. So I've got that. And I'm going to leave that open because I cannot open these suckers. And then it comes with this beautiful Gen Nude blush. Again, this is um, in Lover's Rose. Just gorgeous on. It's got great pigmentation, but yet it's not too overly pigmented. But you just don't, you don't really want to go in ham with this. It's just just a perfect pinchy, pinched colored for your cheeks. Just like somebody just reached up and just pinched your cheeks. It's just beautiful. And then it comes with, um, this is, <laughs> this is so good. It comes with this, what is this called? Um, a highlighter stick is all it's called. Just a, um, illuminating highlighter stick. And this is in the color Orange Blossom. And I did not think I was going to like this at all until I used it. And so this is kind of like a blush topper. And it is so good. So let me swatch this for you. So I put it on the back of my hand. And then I go in with a um, just a like a, a dense brush. And I just um, stipple it just a little bit over my blush. And it is so pretty. And it gives just the prettiest highlight. It is just gorgeous, and it is a cream product, so it's just right up my alley, and it's just gorgeous. The last piece is a four-piece collection, 
that you get for the $65 price point. And it comes with this Gin Nude um, lipstick gloss. I don't know whether they're calling this a liquid lipstick or just a gloss, but it's um, in My Sweet Peony. The applicator is one of those really, really flat applicators. It's not my favorite by itself. It's real glossy, but you can almost see through it. Like it almost needs something underneath it. So whenever I put it on, I will put something on um, underneath it and then I'll put this on like a topper. That's my only complaint about that. It just doesn't have enough opacity to it. I don't feel to stand by itself. For my foundation, I am going to use the um, Bare Pro, Bare Minerals Bare Pro. I'm going to use some new other new products from Bare Minerals. I picked up the um, bronzer, the pressed bronzer in faux tan. And you, if you know anything about Bare Minerals, you know that you can get this in their loose line, the loose um, Bare Minerals um, powders. And that color, that is. But um, now it comes in this compact. And so I picked it up in the compact because I had warmth and it comes in warmth as well so you can get the pressed in warmth if you're a fan of the color warmth which I I love that color and so I picked up the um, shade faux tan in this and I wanted to give it a try and then I picked up one of their highlighters and I went ahead and went with this color whimsy because I thought that it would go great with using this particular palette here. So I just thought those would look kind of cool together. Then some other, oh, so each of these, the bronzers are running at $29 a compact. You can pick those up in faux tan or warmth. And then there's three shades available in the highlights and those are also at the $29 price point. The Bare Pro is $34 and they suggest using that with the Bare Minerals Lux Performance Brush which is $30 and it looks like this. I'm not a big fan of this brush. I don't think you need it. I don't like to apply it with this. I think that the foundation goes on best uh, if you just stipple it on with a brush and then use a blending sponge. And I'll show you that when we get into the application. But if you want the brush, so if you bought this at Ulta, um, it would be $34 for the foundation, $30, so $64 for uh, the brush and the foundation. You can go over to QVC and you can get them both for $48, which is what I did. And I don't like this. Save your money. Don't buy the brush. The brush is not good. That's my rant about <laughs> their brush. We'll move on. The other products that I will be using today is some products that I love, love from Bare Minerals. One is a um, pen that is the face and eye brightener called Well rested. And the way that this pen works is you just tap up like this. And so what you would do is you would just lightly put this where you have any darkness. I really, really like this product. This product is a dupe for the, um, like the brightening uh, pen from uh, Christian Dior and some of those other type products that are a lot more expensive. But this is an $18 product. You can get it on the Bare Minerals website. And I really, really like this product from them. It is very brightening. This is one of the things that I have a backup of and I don't really do makeup backups, but I have a backup of this. Because they were, um, I thought that they were discontinuing this, but it is, I checked today, and the, it is still on their website. 
but this is a very, very good product. The other thing that I love by them, and it's still available on their website, and I keep thinking that they're going to discontinue it, and it makes me want to order a backup of it <laughs> because I like it so much. That is another $18 price point, and this is called um, the Bare Minerals Stroke of Light concealer. I have mine in the shade. Um, it's called the Illuminator number no. two is the shade. So they have four shades. Not very many shades, but if you can find a shade that works for you, it's really, the consistency of this is really, really wonderful. And it has just a sponge tip applicator. And it's really, really good, but it's the consistency that I really, really like of this product and I don't hear anybody talk about this product but I love it and it is um, mine if you're a light medium skin tone the shade that works for me is number two so those are the products that we're going to be using today so what I have on my face so far this is um, the bare minerals complexion rescue defense and I do not know what this is one of those products that needs to go in my video of products that have has a dur whelmed me. This is a $39 price point and I don't know what the hype is. So if you guys know how to make this work, um, let me know. It has an SPF 30 in it. I really want it to work. It has a uh, radiant um, glowy uh, finish to it. So you know it's and, and I'm all about the glow. So I really really like that. So whenever you look at it it kind of reminds me of the two things that I really, really love, which is my Catrice Prime and Fine Glowy Primer, which is this one, the Nude Glow Primer. I love this. And then the other one that I like, that I've, I've bought since this, the Milani Soft Focus Glow. This has that same type of a finish to it, where it is um, radiant, glowy, and it has SPF 30 in it. So I really, really want this to work because it's got the added SPF and this is in Soft Radiance. But when I used it before, my makeup didn't set well on it. So we're going to see how this Bare Pro sets on top of it and see if it works with it. But I didn't like it before. But I do have that on my face and that's what's giving me the glow. And now I've applied the well rested. It's time for the foundation. I'm just going to put a couple of pumps. I will use this brush and kind of show you since I have it. It just doesn't blend. It forces you to use striping, dragging motion, and I just don't like that. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Oh my goodness. I found something for your hair that I just love. So today my hair just looked horrible. It was just frizzy and just looked damaged. It just looked terrible. And I had gotten this sample of this Briogeo Farewell Frizz. And I put this just a little bit through my hair on dry hair too, not wet like it says to use it. And I blow dried, re blow dried my hair, and it has made my hair look so smooth and so good. And I, I tell you, there is very, very rarely a time where a hair product just gets me excited. Dude, I'm going to the store. I am going to Sephora or I'm going online. This is like getting close to the end of that Sephora sale. I'm buying the big one. I am buying the big one. This is, I have never had a product that I have had where I can see instant results like boom, I can see it. This did it for me. I am buying the big one, people. I am buying the big one. This is amazing. It's called Briogeo Farewell Frizz Blow Dry Protection and Heat Protectant Cream. And I am buying the big one because my hair looks so wonderful. 
after I used that stuff and just, and I did not flat iron it. I just blow dried it just a few wax with um, the hair dryer. I couldn't believe it. And it looked horrible. And now it just looks just straight like I flat ironed it. And I didn't do anything but use a round brush, a big round brush, and my hair dryer. I could not believe it. I better get to doing this makeup because this stuff's drying on me. I'm just using a, a moist, <laughs> a damp, <laughs> a dampen. <laughs> People get all crazied up about that word moist. So I think the color of this makeup is a pretty good match. I'm liking that pretty good. And I like the way it looks in a regular mirror better than I do in the mag <laughs> magnifying mirror. <laughs> I can take it a whole lot better when I'm not looking at it magnified. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I do not like what I see <laughs> when it's magnified. <laughs> Okay, so I'll come in closer and let you guys see what that looks like up close. So that's the Bear Pro in number 12. I think it's called Warm Natural. I think that's what I said it was called. But it doesn't seem to be clinging to any dry patches. So that's pretty good. So I like that pretty good. Okay. So, let's warm the face up a bit with the bronzer. And I like the tone of this bronzer. It looks to be pretty neutral. Let's see about that. I got a new brush from the Sephora Pro line. I love these. This is the number 56. I already have the number 55. So the 55 is what I usually use for my bronzer. I wonder how many bronzers a girl can have. Because however many, I'm there. I'm at the limit. This is pretty. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm just telling you, this one, oh, this one's pretty. Oh, this one looks very, very, very natural. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm glad I didn't get that in the sun. I did not pick up any more Fenty bronzers, so I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I got this one instead. Oh, wow. That one looks really good. And I'm just going ham. And it's like you can't over overdo it. Oh, April on one of makeup needs this. Because she is all about. I love her channel. I love her and I love Shauna so much. Because she is all about cool tones. But I need to hop on her channel and tell her that she needs this. That is really pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That is the bomb.com. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. Love, 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 love it. And now I'm going to use my smaller brush to do the Lover's Rose Blush. And this is, that was the 55 and this is the 56. And that is so pretty. Oh, oh, I love it when I bring it back old school and hop into the Bare Minerals. Oh my goodness. I'll tell you, and I don't know if they still have um, Bare Minerals stores, but in my area, um, they closed down the one at Keystone Mall. And... Um, Mary, do they still have the one over in your area at Greenwood? I don't know if they still have the one at Greenwood or not, but I used to go 
to um, the one at the Greenwood Park Mall, which is in Glitzy Fritzy's area. And, oh my God, when they had that one, I loved that store. Loved it. And at Christmas time, <laughs> I'll tell you what, at Christmas time, oh, so there's a gold box behind my Lisa Eldridge pouch up here. And that whole gold box is filled full of single eyeshadows. That was a Christmas um, gift set that has, that was just like, I loved it whenever those would come out every year. <laughs> I just loved it. That is, that's old school. <laughs> but I still have it. Oh my goodness, I love this blush. This blush is so good. Now, this brush, I think maybe I need to wash these brushes and swap and use the smaller one for now that I've got the two I need to swap them over and use the smaller one for my contour and bronze brush and use this the bigger one for my blush for um, my highlighter I was watching glitzy fritzy and I really don't use this brush very much but she said but I have it and she said this is the Sephora 93, and she said she uses this for highlighter, and so I'm going to try it today. So if you haven't watched Mary on the Glitzy Fritzy, she's linked on my channel. So you can go on my channel and check her out. Oh, Mary, look at you. Girl, you done hooked me up with something that I already own. Look at you, girl. Go Mary, go Mary. Oh my goodness. So, <laughs> so this brush been sitting over here because I had bought it as an under eye powder brush and I did not like it for that. And so I just been having it sitting over there and I ain't been using it for nothing. Mary done hooked me up this week. So, I need to link her videos. If I can remember to do that, and I will, I'm going to link. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. I love this highlighter. I love this highlighter. So, this highlighter was what I was wanting Metal Moon to be whenever I bought the Kilowatt highlighter from Fenty. I was wanting Metal Moon to have this kind of opalescent shift, but it don't. It's just real, real light, and it doesn't have that um, that opalescent shift, but this one's got it, guys. This one's got it going on. This one's got the opalescent shift to it. So, um, I, I'm thinking I'm going to like this one a lot better than the Metal Moon. So, I, what I was saying is I will link her video. She's got a banging video about the brushes that you need in your life and she's got it's in two parts she's got a part one and a part two so if you haven't watched that I'm gonna link that so there's that highlight people oh yeah so I'm gonna link that I'll link her video in my description box and you can click on it and go watch all about the brushes because she and I really like a lot of the same brushes so, um, but she has the digs on the Chickahotos, and I don't have any of those yet. They're on my list, but I don't have them. So, because I have, because I don't know what to buy. I, you know, I'm like kind of don't, I don't have the no. I'm not in the no on the Chickahodo. That was for you, Mary, because she's the world's greatest rhymer. So, there you go. <laughs> just like all about Mary today. <laughs> so I've got my face done and um, let's go into the palette. Okay, I'm just going to pop down a little bit of, um, I'm going in with um, my Goss 18 
and this color right here all over. Pick some more up and do the other side. I'm gonna warm up the crease with this transition color. This month is supposed to be about getting a better night's sleep. I think I read that maybe in Allure magazine or one of the magazines. So do you guys have any problem with sleeping? Because I do. I probably only sleep maybe six hours a night. What do you guys do if you have problems sleeping? What do you guys do? Do you take um, melatonin or like I don't take anything for sleep. Do you guys take anything and what do you do? Comment in the comment section. I'd be interested to know. So my husband read a book. All these different things that you're not supposed to do that will help you with sleep. You're not supposed to work out so many hours before you go to bed. You're not supposed to drink too much wine. That that can actually inhibit you from getting sleep. You're not supposed to look at your computer or blue light so many hours before you go to bed. There's just all kinds of different things that you can do that will help increase how much sleep you get. So we've been trying to increase the number of hours of sleep that we get. We don't have a TV in our bedroom. We don't have cable anyway. We don't have a TV. Um, we do have a TV that we can watch a movie on and we have Amazon, but we do not have cable in our house. That's why I never know what's going on in the world. <laughs> so. I'm going in with some of this plum on the outer third of the lid and I'm going to go in with my Sonia G Worker Pro. I'm going to get a fluffy blending brush. I'm just going to blend a Sigma E25 and I'm just going to blend. I'm going to use the uh, Sonia G Pencil Pro into this plummy color and just use that as an eyeliner on the lower lash line. Just about halfway over. Tight line on the top. Okay, I've got my powder applied and I'm just going to buff that in. So I've used um, the Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in Bare to Comment. It's a cool tone pink shade that I just feel like goes well with this look. So I've got that on. I went ahead and filled in the lips with it. I'm actually going to see what this will look like just over. Once you blot it, I feel like it's okay. But this, this I don't know if it's the color. I don't know. I'm just not sure what it is about this particular. I don't know. So the packaging is lovely. I love the packaging. It's absolutely gorgeous. But the product itself is thick. It just stays goopy. It just doesn't look it looks like you're walking around with a big bunch of goo on your lips. I don't like it. It just, I don't like it. It, it's, it almost looks stringy. I don't know if it'll dry down. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of that. The other thing that we have not applied yet is this highlighting stick. So I did want to just put a little bit of that on the cheek so you would see what that looks like. I'm just going to apply a little few dots and just let you see how that looks. So that I do like. Just not crazy about the lip. All right, I'm going to do my eyebrows and my eyelashes and I'll be right back with the finished look. Okay guys, I'm back with the finished look and just a few thoughts. Um, I really, really like a lot of the products that we use today. I think that one of the, well, I think that the top two products that we use today is one, the bronzer in Photan. This is absolutely amazing. It's gorgeous. It is a nice, cool tone bronzer that looks very, very natural. You can go ham with this and you're not going to over bronze. Um, I think it looks wonderful, just absolutely wonderful on the skin. Um, 
I think that the palette itself is just gorgeous. I just really, really like this palette. I think it is a beautiful, beautiful palette for the spring, but also I think that you can really do a lot with this in the fall as well. So I really, really like this. Um, I, I really like the highlighter. I think that that's going to be, you know, your preference though, but I think that it's really, really pretty. Um, I can totally, totally do without this. This is a complete fail for me. I, um, and quite honestly, if their other Gen Nude lip glosses is like this, I'll just pass on them all. Um, I was a big fan of the Marvelous Moxie lipsticks in the bullets. I'm going to have to look and see if I've got any of these because I just don't know of any of these acting like this. So I'm not quite sure what's up with this. I'm going to have to check into this because I don't like this at all. Um, but it's not, uh, I don't know if you can buy um, the, I'll ha I'm not sure if you can buy this by itself or not, I will have to look. And maybe I'll leave a note in the comment section. I'll look and try to leave a note in the comment section whether or not you can just buy this by itself. But I really, really love this and the blush. These are the two top picks. I can, I like the, um, the highlighter stick, the cream highlighter stick, but I could take it or leave it. So these are the two tops. Uh, out of the collection. If I could get these two by themselves, I would probably just opt to just pick up the two um, by themselves if the price point was right. But remember, the collection um, was $65, and a lot of times it's just as cheap to buy the collection on QVC. Um, you can get such a, a good price point, and I don't think I think I got them on a deal that was cheaper than the $65 what they're selling them right now. I know I did. I know I got a um, like a TSV deal. They were cheaper than that whenever I picked them up. But right now, what they're going for whenever I'm filming this video was $65. So, um, be on the lookout for that. Look and see if you can pick them up. You know, maybe put them on shop tag or something like that. Um, but, you know, maybe they'll go on deal again if you're wanting to wait until you can get them on deal. Bare Minerals has come out with a um, Dew Mist setting spray. And so um, I picked this up and um, this is, comes out in a pretty fine mist. So, um, there's really no scent to that. It says, Set, Fresh, Glow, Hydrate, Refresh. And it does look to be a pretty dewy mist. It does make uh, sense, since they have so many uh, powder products, that they would come out with something like this. It's leaving a couple little bumps. Uh, specks, big splotches. So um, maybe it needs to be kind of set down with a sponge because there's a couple of big splotches where you can see where it came out. But um, that looks pretty nice. You just might need to take your sponge and go over that but I really wow I like that a lot so that may end up being one of my favorite setting sprays I just picked up the Morphe <laughs> I don't know who this video is dedicated to Fair Minerals or Mary <laughs> So, um, if you know anything about Mary, you know she doesn't like 
anyway, moving on. <laughs> um, I decided I needed to try the Morphe setting spray. Um, and so I did, and it's really good. And so I just um, decided that this was going to be my new fave. And now, <laughs> it might be getting trumped already. <laughs> because this is just gorgeous. Wow. Um, this is probably the most um, dewy, illuminating. Uh, I, I don't even, I won't even say that this is dewy. This is illuminating. This is probably the most illuminating mist I have ever come across. Um, it is very, very, very illuminating. So if you do not like an illuminating, glowy, 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 glowy setting mist, you will not like this. But if you do, you should pick this up and give it a try. It is uh, wild at how glowy that this is. And whenever it comes out, you may see some bigger uh, spots that first hit. It's very, very, very fine. Um, so it may just be that that was my first application. But um, when it first hits your face, I did see some bigger, just a few, spots and so you want to be ready with your sponge because you're going to want to press those with your sponge whenever you see that so um but i like it because i like glow and it is absolutely now that it has sat down it is absolutely gorgeous so i am really really liking the way that that looks so yeah so that's the finished look I'm looking nice and glowy, and so I'm really, really liking that. So if you like this video, uh, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, and I uh, hope that you consider subscribing to my channel before you leave today, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys!